Hello everyone! So in this case I have this super all-in-one, this super computer I'm going to show you because this is a great computer. Uh, the main thing is you can use it as external monitor so if you want to plug in maybe a GoPro, maybe another computer or something like that because you want to use it as a second monitor that is possible. Also if you want to plug in another monitor that is possible so if you want to use it as a main computer and then after this you want to connect another computer uh, you can do it with this uh, as well so i'm going to show you also the pros and cons of this type of computer all right now we are going to see the computer so as you can see here we have the touch screen so if you want to draw anything on the screen you can do that as well here we're going to close it and here we're going to see the computer specs so we have 16 gigs of ram we have a i7 64-bit the windows and the we have the original license is a home version and also you have the pro in case if you want to use it for commercial here we're going to show you this uh, side of the computer so that way you can see it and here we have the the model as you can see here so it's a 27 inch and it has a six in this case it has 16 because i put 16 and you can see the model is a 520 27iKL and as you can see it's i7 the seventh generation and you can see the touch screen and everything else, all those stickers. Over there you have the input for the HDMI. And you can use it only for another computer, but not to put image, you know, to import image inside of the computer. For that you need something else. You have the USB-C, you have the regular USB, and you have the HDMI. Uh, that is the output. So if, if you want to connect a second monitor, that is great. Also, you have the uh, eight, uh, the RG45, so the Ethernet core, so that way you can have internet. And there you have the power. So you use uh, 20 volts, if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to connect it to your RV, uh, you can use uh, the battery. So with the stepped up uh, transformer, as you can see over there, is 20 volts. Now I'm using it with 110, but as you can see, if you buy one of these uh, from 12 to 24, in the in this case, uh, you you should buy one that is from 12 to 20, and uh, that way you should be able to make it work. Make sure that you have the right amperage. Uh, in this case, is uh, six amps, and I'm going to show you, uh, for instance, with this uh, uh, GoPro. Um, I'm going to put it in the input so that way you can see here we have the HDMI we're going to put it inside and it should work the only thing is there is no button so it will change it, as soon as it detects the signal it will work and the, in this case I have the the, uh, the GoPro it was in standby mode so I have to turn it back on and it will work but it, it works it works uh, seamlessly so if you have something like that uh, i'll show you the only thing i have to do now i have to unplug it that is the, the only thing you have to unplug it plug it back in and then you, you you will have the the image now as you can see everything works so now uh, you're seeing the ceiling that is my hand as you can see that is me and it works great i mean no no problem that is the only disadvantage is that you don't have any button i would like it to have a button so that way you can switch between the windows computer and the hdmi that would be great so other than that that that's it so as you as you see uh, i just unplug it and it works that's it if you have any question or if you want to buy something like that and you're outside of the united states you want me to buy one and send it to you i can do that as well Otherwise, yeah, I'll try to leave in the video description uh, the um, link so that way you can buy it. And here, as you can see, we have the webcam. You can push it in, push it out. So if you want for security reasons, there you go. I found that website where you can test the, the webcam. As you can see, that is my hand once again. 
so very easy easy to, to use so you can google it a web a webcam test uh, that's it so once you push it in it will disactivate the the webcam and we have on the side we have the usb that is uh, the only usb that you have on that side so i like that so that way you don't have to reach all the way to the back and in the other end you have the power button so that is the how you turn it on and off or you can use windows to turn it off so the good thing about this computer is that you can replace the the cpu so that is cool and you can add uh, more ram that is uh, cool as well the only thing i don't like is all the plastic and everything how you have everything that you have to remove i mean it should be easier it should be a few screws like other computers and take it out and that's it so hopefully this was useful if you have any question please let me know and see you next time